Um, we should move on to this article, courtesy of Deadline, regarding Tom Segura. Actual good news for him. It's a Tom Segura says his solid pilot in which he stars as a streamer, fat astronauts film in active development, and new podcast Not Today Power with Jamie Lynn Siegler and Rob Eibler to launch next month. Raw Ted. Three big projects, isn't it? Three really big projects. A pilot, TV show, where he plays a streamer, fashion arts with Bert, I'm assuming, and a new podcast with Jamie Lee Siegel and Rob Eibler. I think these are two people from um, Sopranos, right? I'm pretty sure. These two people from Sopranos that he's doing the show with. They got great chemistry, to be fair. When they when they come on, um, when they used to come on your mum's house the first time, especially, it was amazing because Rob Eibler, Rob Eibler is a real big fan of the pod, um, your, your, your mum's house. So he kind of got all the lingo and stuff. It was really fun, to be fair. Um, this is Kosher Deadline. Some time ago, uh, Tom Segura teased on his YMA Studio podcast that he decided to self-finance and shoot a mysterious video project. He self-financed the whole thing. Yo, Tom Segura must be rolling in money, boy. Do you know how much it costs to film these type of things? Jesus. Um, and shoot a mystery video project with further details to be discussed later date. At long last, they're beginning to emerge as Segura has to close the deadline. His sale to a streaming pilot um, streaming service for a pilot he says we produced a pilot that we sold to one of the streamers we financed it we produced it we wrote it so we might see more of that going forward i think tim dylan spoke about doing the same thing right about filming something producing it and then obviously he's trying to sell it to a streaming platform segura shared during a zoom call late last week this was a hundred percent like the podcast we we're thinking which was like just make the thing so we just made it, spent a fortune doing it, but I think for the right reasons. And I think they'll probably make an announcement about it soon, maybe when the strikes resolve. But we're very excited about it and we're continuing to do more things in that lane. That's actually a really good idea, to be fair. If you actually think you can, you know, it's, there's a little bit of hubris, a little bit of arrogance involved in the idea that these podcasters think that they can single-handedly revive the comedic film, TV series type of, you know, division area, genre. But if they think they can do it, put your money where your mouth is. Do you know what I mean? Self-financed it, do it yourself, and then see if you can kind of make it blow. That's actually a good idea. Um, it says, while there are no further details yet on the pilot's plot, Segura said that he wasn't at liberty to share the streamer which bought it. There's a good likelihood that it's being set up by Netflix, given the comics history of the platform. Segura launched the global launched a global stardom with a comedy world with Netflix 2014 unveiling a special completely normal. Wow, 2014, a long while. Wow. And I set each of his other four specials there in recent in recent years including sledgehammer which will be available on streaming services on july 4th okay cool that's awesome i'm going to be checking that out i'm going to be reviewing this for sure Tom Segura's new special sledgehammer i'll be reviewing that i'll probably be doing a live review of that actually on the on the podcast so definitely check that out unfortunately i can't do a watch party for it because they're going to copyright strike me or i might be able to do it on kick actually maybe i'll do it on kick who knows um it continues in conversation with deadline ahead of the new specials release Segura also confirmed that he was two feet Features in the works one that is a setup as a, at a studio um and one that is currently being shopped one of the projects in the active uh, development he confirmed this fat astronauts a sci-fi comedy emerging from the concept by his longtime friend and two bears podcast co-host bert kreischer which kreischer first shared with fans in 2020 the draft that we got is so funny right now, says Segura, said vis-a-vis -vis for astronauts, in which he'll presumably start opposite Kreischer. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that, but it's one is very funny. I mean, we're working with one of the funniest writers ever on that. So that's going to be really uh, that, that actually sounds like a good idea for astronauts, to be fair with Bert and Tom. Back at the height of the pandemic, crash a pitch fast astronauts on two beds one case as follows. Me and Tom are set to space because they're going to start building moon colonies on the moon and they want to know how many to build and they're going to sell them to regular Americans like me and Tom. So they send us a space station with all the things that we like, food, booze, food, weed, porn stars and they're like, we want to see if your lifestyle translates to space living or if you die. Um, we get up there and we find out we fucking love it. We don't want to come back. We sabotage it so they can't get us out, so that we're locked up there. View this entire segment link below. Uh, so okay, that sounds like a pretty decent premise. Um, Sagora, um, link to Boros Pilot. Okay, cool. What's I said? What we're saying, chat. Drop the link to the kick. Actually, I think I got it here. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll show you in the URL. I don't know what my URL. Oh, there it is. My URL is just, just my name. So it's Agassino Zinger. 
all one word. So kick.com, Agassino Zinga, check it on there. But can I post links on my on my chat? Let's see if links work. Because I think something disabled. Maybe if I'm a mod, it will let it post on there. Yeah, there we go. It's that. So you see it on there already, right? So I'll maybe stream it on there. So if you want to follow me on Kick, I might actually do a yeah, I might do a streaming party for that. Or I might stream it directly on here and see if I can get it. Cause I'll probably get a copyright strike anyway, but we'll let it run anyway. See how see how long we can watch Tom Segura's uh, new special sledgehammer on here without getting taken down. So yeah, join me on Kick for that one when that happens. Back to the article. Um, Segura's pilot sale and film development bring him closer to the fruition of a long-time goal. He'd expressed interest in filmmaking over the years while appearing in the actor um, in a number of high-profile projects had to to his pilot what's let me read that again uh, sorry I'm, I'm fucking this up here so gross pilot sale and film development bring him closer to the fruition of a long time goal he expressed interest in filmmaking over the years while appearing in actor in a number of high profile sub projects and had to at this point satisfy with the aspect of creative ambitions through the creation of pre-recorded video content for the live editions of your mom's house podcast which garnered a major audience in the thick of the pandemic in terms of new projects Segura also last week teased further expansion to his podcast network just recently he and his wife and fellow comedian christina pajinski launched first date a romance themed pod of shorter length hosted by comedian and content creator lauren compton and soon the comic said he'll see the launch of not today pal a long discussed though previously untitled new podcast hosted by sopranos alumni and friends of your mom's house jamie lynn siegler and rob eibler that comes out next month then we might have to another one come coming out about a month later jesus christ that's pretty crazy man um interesting to see in it lots of stuff coming out i thought there was a little bit of podcast fatigue but it seems like they're still doubling down on it if anything i think what's happened with megan markle and prince harry's pod basically being scrapped by spotify i think what might happen might be the opposite it might not be podcast fatigue we might get back to people only wanting to listen to actual podcasters actual funny people do podcasts interesting people as opposed to celebrities the whole like get someone famous to sit down on a microphone and talk might be over but maybe it might make people go back to okay i want to be entertained i want to be listen to people who are literally good at what they do they've done this for a long time and not just doing this as a cash grab maybe that's what might happen because these guys are pumping out the pods they're not stopping mate I mean, there's been no stop and clearly there's appetite for it because brands are lining up to sponsor it, advertisers, streaming platforms want to get behind stuff like this. So clearly the money is there, the interest is there. So maybe that's what's happening. Maybe that's what's happening. Maybe that is what's happening actually. But big up Tom Segura, man. Big, big deals. Um, he's not betting on himself. He's betting on the house, right? He's funding it himself. That This is what betting on yourself actually looks like. He funded the entire thing, like feature films and stuff. That stuff is not cheap. And then he shopped it out there, got it bought, and now he's going to continue on from then on. So you can't be mad at this guy, but he must be, he must have bucks in it. He must have fucking bucks to film all this shit, uh, take the brunt, bear the brunt of the cost up front, and then shop it around, hoping somebody buys it, you know, and just do it for the love. Just do it for the fuck of it. Fuck it. Let me just put something out there. It's funny. If it pops and it blows, fair enough. That's beautiful. But I'm doing it so I can kind of, you know, have something fun out there add to my cv make my indb look more interesting like credit to the guy man congratulations credit to him impossible to hate that sort of stuff to be fair impossible to hate that sort of stuff